Welcome, Wafa Sultan. In your opinion, what good did the cartoon crisis do? Thank you very much for having me on your show. We, as Muslim people, have been hostages of our own belief system for too many centuries. We have been hostages of our own prison. We have never heard other voices outside of our box. We are not used to hearing other voices. We barely are allowed to hear our own voices. So I see publishing the cartoon was the first crack in the walls of our prison. Because as a prisoner, it's almost impossible to break the wall of your prison. You need someone outside of your prison to help you break in it. But you regard yourself as a prisoner? Yes, I was a prisoner. And I was a prisoner. I, living in the United States for 17 years, life prayed me, helped me to get out of the box. And we need to get Muslim in the Islamic country to get out of it. We need to teach him how to listen to other people's opinion, even if they don't like what they hear. So what you're saying is the cartoons helped many people Absolutely. in the Middle East? Absolutely. I say it as a positive step. But what about negative aspects of the cartoon crisis? I don't see any negative. Publishing cartoon and criticism again and again will push Muslims to take deeper look at their religion. And this is the only way to improve our culture, to improve our religion. We have to be grateful to hear how others feel about our religion so we can improve it. But hasn't the cartoon crisis, on the contrary, radicalized Muslims in the Middle East rather than making them... Maybe it seems th this way, but on the long run, it's not going to be that way. You are helping the Muslim to get used to, cr to be criticized. Because I believe Islam, like any other religion, is not above criticism. So many people criticize Christianity, Judaism, and who cares? So why not Islam? But what, I mean, you are very critical of Islam, although you were born and raised as a Muslim. What is it about Islam that you're so critical about? I believe, you know, the trouble with Islam is deeply rooted in its teachings. Islam is not only a religion. Islam also a political ideology that preaches violence and applies it is agenda by force. I have never criticized the religious part of Islam. I respect the religious part of Islam as much as I respect any other religion. But I believe we have to take the political power out of Islam and confine it as a religion to worship places and homes. This is the only solution. How strong do you think at the moment, and in the, in the wake of the cartoon crisis, how strong do you think moderate Muslims are in the Arab world? I believe, wrongfully, they were called moderate. I don't believe there is moderate Muslim. I believe they are moderate in, in terms of culture. They are Muslim in terms of culture, not in terms of religion. Because in Islam, you have to believe in every teaching as a holy teaching, you cannot change. You have to accept it the way it is. Otherwise, simply, you're not a Muslim. But going against Islam, the religious teachings and the political teachings, particularly, of Islam, always carries a certain threat to the one who, who comes yeah, with the message, like yourself. What have been the personal consequences for you? Absolutely. I receive death threat on a daily basis. And deep in my heart, I feel very, I, feel, I, am, I feel the peace, you know, inside me. I'm not afraid. You're calm about what you're doing. I believe in what I am doing. And I have decided to keep doing it to the rest of my life.
even if I have to sacrifice my own life. Because I believe we are here for a purpose, and we're going to live this life only once. So it has to be good life. You have to be here for good reason. You know, I believe our fathers, our great grandfathers, our great grandfather didn't leave for us but trouble. So why we have to leave the same problem for our generations? Why? But we have to do something about it. But you said to begin with that the crack in the wall has been opened by Julian's Posten and, yes. and the 12 cartoons. Do you think that this crack in the wall will, will grow bigger than the wall? No doubt about it. It will. No doubt. I don't know. Listen, the Muslim mentality has been shaped throughout 1400 years without any question being asked. So it's not easy to change this mentality overnight. It's going to take a long time and a huge amount of efforts. But eventually, we will get positive results out of it. We have to be optimistic about it. We have to have hope in order to move forward. I will never give up hope under any circumstances. Even though radical forces in the Arab world, say in Egypt, in Iraq or in Syria, your own country, now seems to be getting stronger. I'm not surprised with their reaction because they haven't heard other voices. It is, I believe, very natural reaction. But the more you do it, the more we, they will get used to it. So just keep doing it. Does Islam have a role to play in the modern world, do you think? Of course it does, but not in the way it looks now. I have very different point of view regarding this matter. And I was advised by so many friends to polish my message and to soften my way of saying it. I tried, but I failed. I see the truth as naked, and I feel it more powerful to stay naked. I cannot, just in order to make it look better, put a nice dress on it. So I'm, I'm going to say it directly the way I used to do it. I don't believe Islam can be reformed. I really don't. I believe Islam shall be transformed. and. It will take fearless religious leaders and very well-educated people to cause the transformation. If Islam was transformed absolutely, it will have a role to play in our world. But do you see these leaders and intellectual figures anywhere in the Arab world? We, we have to put more pressure on them. If they claim they can reform Islam, we have to challenge them. Prove us, prove me wrong and do it. We have, if they believe, if they claim they can reform Islam, we have to give them the opportunity to do it. And we have to put more pressure on them to do it. We have to encourage them to do it. Once Islam is transformed, we will be directing in the right direction. We will be going in the right direction once it is transformed. And at that point, Islam will be able to play a positive role in our life. Wafa Sultan, you're at the beginning of a very long road. Thank you very much for coming here. Pleasure to be here. Thank you very much.